Hey everyone, it's Joe with Seattle Life Studios. Let's look at how you can take a photo sequence, turn it into a video for posting onto Instagram using just Final Cut Pro. In dance photography, if I'm not working with studio lighting, I'll shoot using the highest frame rate possible for my camera, which for the Canon R5 is 12 frames per second. The reason I do this is to capture the most dynamic moment in a sequence. So you end up with images that look like this. Now what I love about this sports shooting technique is that I end up with sequences that can be turned into videos. And the real beauty of this technique is it can also be used in fashion and other types of sessions to create unique looks and fun effects. Let's do a quick walkthrough of how you can do this using just Final Cut Pro. So the first thing you'll need to do is create a sequence of JPEG files and put them in a folder. So in this folder you can see there's a sequence of photos. Uh, these are unedited straight out of the camera. As you can see you can kind of play through them and get the idea of the flipbook that you would have from the past. Uh, and here I've taken these into Lightroom and given them some color correction, etc. And this is what we're going to work with. I've also created a black and white version because that can be fun to play with and a few cropped in. So let's create a new project in Final Cut and we'll just name it Photo Sequence. And since we're going to output this to Instagram, let's make it 1080 wide by 1350 tall since Instagram is a vertical platform. All right, so this is your timeline. Let's bring those files in. I like to just drag them straight in from the desktop and into the timeline here. Um, and I hate the magnetic timeline, so I like to lift them from the storyline there. And let's create a compound clip so that these photos exist as a single piece. And you can scrub back and forth and you kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Here's a little scrub for you. Let's retime it. Uh, right now, each photo is four seconds long. We don't want that, so let's bring it down, and I'm gonna speed this up to about 4,000%. And that works pretty well for 12 frames per second. Closer would be 4,800 or 5,000 to if you wanted a real time, but that's not super important with this. It's just whatever looks right to you. Okay, so now let's resize this image so that we can fill the frame here. You can choose whether you wanna do that or not, but you have that option. We'll do this, check it out, just scrub through. It looks a little off-center, so I'm gonna bring that over. Here we go. And scrub through, and that looks pretty good. All right, there we go. Okay, so if you touch R, you can select a range on your storyline there. Uh, and I'm just gonna select the range of this photo and then go to share, Apple devices, and under settings, we'll just use H264. Works pretty well and just hit next. Name it what you want and save it where you want. And then once this has finished outputting, you will have a photo sequence. Okay, there we finished. Let's go to the desktop here and we'll hide the background. And there it is. And that's how it looks. Boom. So that's just one step. Now you know how to create a photo sequence. This is a great building block to create other pieces. I actually used variations on this technique almost exclusively to create this video, which I have posted on my Seattle Life Dance Instagram account. Uh, I'll leave a link so you can check out the whole thing. As a hybrid shooter, I love using this technique to create posts with photos, videos, and photo sequences. You can check out some examples on my Instagram pages at Seattle Life Studios and Seattle Life Dance. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or to look me up on Instagram. If you want to see anything specific or want to know how I do anything, just let me know.